Hello everybody and a very warm welcome to this week's episode of Hidden Jewels of Soul and Disco. My name is Nadine, I'm writing for souldisco.de and this week um, I'll have my tiki cup with me. As you can hear I'm still a little sick so maybe during the filming of the video I need <laughs> to sip on my on my battle cap uh, tiki cup so um, bear with me. Um, I'm pretty sure that many of you are, are into Black Explosion movies because the soundtracks were so tremendously, tremendously good. We're talking about the likes of Shaft, Superfly, Troubleman, Black Caesar, uh, Coffee, uh, Foxy Brown, Friday Foster, uh, Hitman, The Mac, Across 110th Street, 10th Street um, Blackula, um, The Godfather of Disco, and many, 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 many more. Um, I personally, there are many things, many people saying, oh, that's a kind of B-movie, trash movie. Well, honestly, I love, I love these movies. You know, they say, oh, it's a mixture, it's too violent, too many drugs, porn. And I said, uh, <laughs> I'm like, uh, did you switch on the news? <laughs> I mean, seriously. Um, so um, I like the movies and um, the soundtracks will last a lifetime. I mean, they were tremendously good records and tremendously well done. And with all that soundtracks, there, there are some soundtracks, oh, I forgot Hell Up in Harlem, oh, that was a great soundtrack by Edwin Starr. But anyway, um, with all the soundtracks, um, some of the lesser known soundtracks are pretty much buried under these heavy weights. And there's one soundtrack um, I wanted to introduce you in case you, you didn't know it. And I mean, even the title of that movie is... <laughs> I love the sound of that title of their movie. And um, we're talking about a 1975 movie and it's called Sheba Baby. Um, that was, you can see the, um, um, the advertisement for hotter than coffee and meaner than Foxy Brown. So that was after the movies Pam did and this was in 1975. Critics were like, uh, the movie was got pretty pretty bad critics saying there was, thank God there was less violence in it and all of it, but otherwise, um, the movie wasn't that good. I've seen that movie; you can get it on, on on YouTube. But um, it's a black explosion movie. What do you expect? Gone with the wind. Um, so uh, yeah, I like it, and um, that's the front cover. I, I I think I will put that record on my wall. I love that. I mean, seriously, look at her. Um, the critics said she never looked better than in this movie, and I must say, Pam, I mean, she's a beautiful woman. I'm happy she's still with us, and she did some outstanding work on this. Um, the tracks uh, with the vocals on it were sung by Barbara Mason, and she sounds fantastic on that record. The Lady Love, um, she had a tremendous amount of, uh, of output in the 70s, a great output. So for me, it's a perfect combination. And um, to make a long story short, you watch some, some clips of the music and I take a sip of my drink. So yeah, um, it's a great, when you're having a, a nice car ride or one hits to some funky music, this is, this is a great record to hear. I mean, seriously, it has some great tunes on it and you can compare it with the likes of Superfly and Shaft and all of these. Of course, we don't need to talk about that, but I think this record and the soundtrack deserves some more recognition. Um, yeah, what came with the record? 
um, I put that down, was the original inner sleeve where you get some advertisement for Superfly and Natural 4 for that stuff that was going on. There's also some advertisement on this side for Barbara Mason record. Um, I will have um, a video about that soon, about that record. So um, that came with it. The record was released on Buddha Records. Side A. And this is side two of that soundtrack. And um, I still found the original price tag on it. Um, I know exactly all where, where I bought that record. Um, at that time, I thought that <laughs> I over overpriced. Uh, I, I paid way too much for the record. Um, I paid uh, 35 bucks for it, 35 euros. Um, but I checked Discogs and pop sites, so this is a pretty common price at the moment, but I'm pretty sure that you can get it cheaper. Between 15 to 35, I wouldn't pay more. Um, you get for, for you you pay for a decent copy, but you have really some nice music and um, a very enjoyable record. Next to the highlights uh, of that of that area. So um, yeah, I'm wishing you guys all the best. Um, I see you next week. Thanks once again for the subscriptions for your, your time you're taking to watch the videos. Um, it's been pretty amazing, and um, I'm wishing you all the best. Uh, stay healthy. Stay happy, listen to good music, have a great week, and um, I'll see you next one, next Wednesday. Sorry, bye.